ever had to drag your laptop out onto the field just to make a tweak to your drone? Yeah, so have I, and it is a real pain. But all of that is about to change with this little box. I'm Andy from Drone UK. Let's see what this is all about. Let's get into the adapter free and what it actually does and why it's different from a simple on the go cable. I'm gonna go through the main features one by one and show you how they work in the real world. So first up, we've got the wireless configuration. Instead of juggling the on-the-go cables, you can just connect your phone to the adapter. You can pick Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You'd pick Wi-Fi if you wanted to get black, log, black box logs or such. Just more heavy sort of data stuff. But once you're in, you've basically got the full beta flight configurator on your phone. You can adjust the PIDs, tune filters, set your rates, and even remap your ports. And you can do this all in the field without a laptop. Now this is hands down the feature I use most. I'll tweak a filter or raise the expo on my Cinebot 30, save it, and I'm straight back in the air. It feels like having Betaflight in your pocket. First up, wireless configurator. And this is honestly where SpeedyB Adapter 3 shines. The setup's simple. Power on the adapter, connect your flight controller, and open the SpeedyB app. You can use Bluetooth for quick settings changes, or you can switch to Wi-Fi for a sort of a heavier experience for things like flashing and downloading black box logs. But once you're connected, you're basically inside Betaflight right there on your phone. The layout's almost identical to the desktop configurator, so if you've used Betaflight before, then you're gonna feel right at home. The configuration tab gives you all the usual toggles, arming angle, motor stop, D-Shell protocol, B for options, pretty much everything that you would expect. You can even, even enable like the disable features like black box OSD or the GPS if your build supports it. But then you've got the PID tuning tab, which is a lifesaver in the field because if I can run it back, land, open the tab and tweak the P, I or D values on the spot. No laptop, no cables, no wasted times. The changes like apply instantly as well, just save it and go. The rate section is another big one for me. I tend to fine tune my rates per build, especially on the Cinebot 30. Depending on whether I'm flying cinematic lines or something more playful, I just like to have a few extra like options to choose from, you know? But adjusting those curves right on the phone while the quad's still powered up is such a time saver. The filter tab works exactly like the desktop version too. You can move the sliders, switch filters on or off, or reset to defaults if you've gone too far, and it, it happens. It's perfect for testing new props or motors. When I see oscillations mid-flight, I can just land, tweak the filter slider a touch, and then send it again. And finally, under ports. You can remap your UARTs, configure smart port or crossfire connections. It's all there, no compromises, no stripped down mobile version, it's the real deal. The whole thing feels quick and intuitive. I've had sessions where I've landed, made three small adjustments, PID, rates and filters, and been back in the air in under a minute. For me, this is the feature that makes the adapter 3 worth it. It's like carrying a wireless Betaflight laptop in your pocket. Next up, firmware flashing. Normally, if you need to update your flight controller, it's a trip home. Connect to your PC, download the firmware, flash, test, you know the drill. I mean, or you could do this on the field as well with your laptop, but again, this is the whole point, no laptop needed. Here, you pick your target in the app, select the firmware version, and hit flash. The adapter switches to Wi-Fi, downloads the firmware, and pushes it straight to your FC. Two minutes later, you're on the latest beta flight, EMU flight or INAV, literally while standing at the field. That's a huge deal if you're testing new features or if something breaks right before a flying session. And this happens more often than you would think. Now let's talk about black box. Every pilot node logs a gold for figuring out how your quad is behaving. With the Adapter 3, you can download the logs directly from your flight controller to your phone. And the SpeedDB app lets you view them right away. PID graphs, motor outputs, gyro traces. It's not as detailed as the Betaflight's desktop black box explorer, but it's more than enough to spot big issues like oscillations, desyncs, or prop wash. For me, it means I can run it back, land, check the logs, make a change, and then fly again, all without leaving the spot. That kind of fast feedback loop is, you know, it's priceless. And another really handy one is the ESC configurator. Here, you can connect to BL Heli S or BL Heli 32, change your motor direction, adjust PWM frequency, or even update the ESC firmware. If you've ever swapped motors in the field and realized they're spinning the wrong way, this saves the day. It's quick, it's easy, and it saves you frustration of packing up early. 
and I've been in that situation where I've just been messing about in beta flight, I've made some changes and I've forgotten to check something, I've gotten to the field and realised, damn. So yeah, very handy. Now this is what I would call the bonus feature, because it's essentially a power bank mode. Plug the USB cable into the side and you can fast charge your phone, goggles or even your GoPro up to 30 watts. It's not the main reason to buy one of course, but honestly it saved me more than once when I've been flying out all day and my goggles needed a top up. And it actually really is. My goggles seem to be the ones that take the biggest hit and having this, this, uh, this adapter 3, it just, you know, it's a game changer for me. It's just one less thing to carry in your bag as well, you don't have to take like another power bank or something. So, yeah, it just makes the Adapter 3 feel like it's even more of an all-in-one tool. Okay, so I've been using the SpeedyBB Adapter 3 for, you know, a good few months now. And, yeah, it's definitely under place in my bag. It's small, compact, and powerful. And it completely takes away the need for me to take out a laptop out into the field. I go out into the field, I could use my laptop, it could get damaged, and then that's going to cost me a lot of money to replace. SpeedyB adapter is, I think, just under 40 US dollars. That's, that's, that's a no-brainer in my eyes. Um, it's, it's one of those tools that, you know, you don't think you would ever need it until you try it. <laughs> and then it's something that I'm always going to have. It, like, it's, it's so good. Like, the idea of being able to just make a quick change. Um, your, bad, your, like, your drone goes down, you want to make a quick change to the PIDs, the rates, or anything like that. You can just do it right there on the field. You can charge your batteries on your phone, you can charge your goggles if they get lower. It's a no-brainer. It's not perfect, as I said, like the black box logs. You're always going to get better analysis from the PC, but it is good to just get you flying again if you, like, you, know, you want to check something before your next pack. It's just really handy. Um, and as I said, it's cheap. So yeah, this is definitely something that I would recommend. So that's my SpeedyB Adapter 3 review. If you're an FPV pilot who's constantly tuning or testing gear, it's one of those little gadgets that genuinely make life easier. I'm gonna drop the links below if you want to check it out for yourself. And if you want to see how my GEPRC Cinebot 30 is held up after six months of flying, crashing and upgrades, then the link is below and you can check it out there. I'm Andy from Drone UK. Thanks for watching.